Hey guys and gals, Dustin here with Jump Jump Games, and I would like to welcome you to the first ever episode of Jubba Jub Retro. This is going to be a series here on Jubba Jub Games where we look back at old school retro games. Um, I grew up on some of these personally myself. Um, great games back in the day. And I want to share some of the classics of what made video games kind of what they are today. I want to share the original prototypes. So today we're going to be playing Centipede, Tempest, and probably Pong, to be honest. Because those were really kind of the first influential games. Um, at least that I had played. So let's start off with Centipede first. Now, mind you, the graphics are not up to today's quality. Remember, this is Atari from 1980. This is nine years before I was actually born. Which is crazy. Um, but back in the day, these games were all about using your damn imagination. Because the graphics really weren't much to look at. But the goal... Shit, if I didn't suck ass... Aw, oh, hell. As you can tell, the goal is to kill the damn centipede. And I was never good at it in the arcades. I was never good on it on the Atari. And I am not good on it on the PlayStation, apparently. God, there's so many little mushrooms in my way. I can... Uh, this is where I suck. I always get like... Oh, you're going back up. You're going back up. No, don't hit me, ew. Ugh. No, these games were, s like, so cool back in the day. Because, I mean, to be real, video games were still kind of in their infancy at the time. Uh, ugh. And it's the sound effects are classic. I mean, not near as detailed as what we've got today, but these were classic vintage sounds that, you know, all video games had. So if, if this is not going to be the usual um, kind of playthroughs I do. It's going to be just more of admiring the past a little bit. Um, kind of a gaming history, so to speak. So let's, let's see if we can get on the top board here. Worry about the big ones. Worry about the big ones. Worry about the big ones. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more. One more. One more. Flippin' spider. Damn it. Gotta watch out for everything. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. And this is just the first level, mind you. Damn it. One more time. One more time. And then we shall move on. And to think, this would have already run me like 75 cents back in the day on an arcade machine. Like, these things were not cheap. But this is how, if you wanted to play video games, kind of how you did it back in the day. It was an arcade, or when we finally got home consoles, you know, the Atari 2600 and whatnot, we finally got, you know, these at home. But if you wanted to play them back in the day, fucking spider. You had to go to an arcade. And that was 
spending quarters pretty much all afternoon. And where I kind of grew up, we didn't really have arcades. We had cabinets like arcade cabinets in our local laundromats. And that's where we would go and play. Okay, let's move on to Temptus. Ah, oh, Temptus was such a cool game too. The whole objective is this, obviously, is just to shoot the little aliens that come across your track. Um, super fun game. You'll notice that it's still, it still it has this has all these games have similar sound effects. Damn it. Damn it. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Shit. Damn it. I got too big for my bridges. Oh. These games were so cool back in the day. Oh. And they're so much fun now. Even to be real, just they're they really are. Oh. Okay. And pretty much once they get to the top, they're they're hard enough to stop. See, and with the Atari controller, ironically, it was just one button and a control stick. That was it. So literally, you could just do this. Just go around in a circle. And... And literally, you just go through different designs just doing this. Oh, oh, we were so close that time. We were so close that time. We'll give it one more go. Oh, Lord. Damn it. I got cornered. Shit. Son of a bitch. That's hard. That really is hard. Okay. And then the last, and but not least, in what will be more to come of Jubba Jub Retro, the granddaddy of them all, the most basic game on the face of the planet, I am proud to present to you Pong, the most simple game in the entire world. Literally, it's tennis. Two lines and a square dot. This is it. <laughs> Welcome to Pong. For the generation that was bored as shit. And I'm losing. Oh my god. How do you lose in Pong? How do you lose? Stop sucking it up. Oh my god. There we go. Haha! Shit! Oh my god! 
Why is it moves so fast? Like I have to tap like the control stick because it just moves so quickly. Oh, come on. This is this looks this is horrifying. It's three to eight. Haha, <laughs> four to eight. Damn it, four to nine, come on. I'm gonna get beat. I'm gonna get beat at Pong by the computer because I suck at serving. Damn it! I... I lost. I lost the computer in Pong. Ridiculous. Oh my god. What? Really? Get out of here. I can win this. It's Pong, damn it. Oh, eat my ass. Oh, come on. I passed right through it. Oh my god. It wasn't much to look at, obviously. It's... You had to be stupidly bored to really get enjoyment out of this. Or it was superly, superly easily entertained. Obviously, because this... It's not much to look at, but damn was it fun. Get you and a buddy couch gaming, just playing some Pong. Now we got us, so, aw, oh, damn it, I spoke too soon. I was gonna say, now we got us a good little game going. Shit. Come on. Yes. At least I'm not going down without a fight. Not going down without a fight. Not in Pong. Not in Pong. Damn it. Oh. Uh. God, these games remind me so much of my past. It's just pathetic. No, see, back in the day, we didn't have, you know, all the sports games like Madden, you know, named after coaches and quarterbacks and teams and all that other mess. When, you know, back in the day, when you Atari was out, you had the it was almost the most basic of games for its time. But God, God, these games were such a big part of you know of my childhood and what is be, you know thanks to Atari and whatnot, we have you know video games today. You know, it, it, they helped lead the way for what we have today. And it's always nice to go back and pay tribute to them a little bit. But I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Jubba Jub Retro. Um, if you guys want to see more retro games, if you guys want to see more retro games on the channel, um, I will be doing some more. I have the Atari Flashback Collection too. So we're going to... We're going to do, we've got, we, this, this will be a fun little thing for us to do. Um, just to sit back and look at the, the year, or the games that were of yesteryear. But, thank you guys so much for watching. 
If you liked it, smash that like button. Don't forget to share this out to your friends, your coworkers, your, coworkers, your colleagues. Share this out to everybody. Um, and if you haven't yet, subscribe. And join the Jump and Jump community where we're, I've got reg, you know, current games, uh, Let's Plays, and I am now bringing you know, retro gaming to the channel. And Shirtless Chef, that seems to be you know, popular too. So check those out. Let me know what you think. Once again, I've been Dustin with Jubba Jub Games. I will see you in the next one. Remember, y'all, take her easy. <laughs>